seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Christmas and Thanksgiving is coming up and I really wanted to get this recipe out to you guys because I know some of y'all was wondering well how you get your ham bam and this is how I get my ham so what you're going to need is you're going to need some pineapples a can of pineapples you're going to need some brown sugar you're going to need coca-cola because I like to base my ham with coca-cola and you're going to need a little bit of nutmeg I can't pronounce that so don't come for my life in the comments okay then we're going to need some toothpicks you're going to use the toothpicks to stick the pineapples into the ham so if you guys are definitely interested in seeing what's going to be going on here at Bama Girls Cafe then stay tuned in because we're about to get our life in the kitchen today see you guys back here all right love so we're back and today we're still going to be including the side angle so you guys can see what's going on here on the counter so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place our ham into the water and we're going to let it boil and I might have a little bit too much water. I do. I have too much water in the pot, child. So please forgive me. <laughs> um, yeah. Pour a little bit of that water out. And then we're just going to sit the ham down in there. And we're going to let it boil. And that's going to take some of the sodium out of it. And whatever parts you don't let boil the first time around, you just want to take it and put it back into the pot. Well, you want to take it out of the pot, pour the water off of it, and then you want to place the opposite end into the pot and let it boil for 20 minutes. So I want to let this boil for 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and let the other side boil for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out. We're going to dress it up, make it look all delicious. And then we're going to pop it into the oven for another 35 minutes and let the glaze and everything get beautiful and caramelized on it. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, love. So we back and we boiled the ham on one side for 20 minutes and then we poured all that water off, flipped it off, and boiled it on the other side for 20 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get to putting this baby together. So the first thing you need to do, y'all see it's just coming out of the pot, got a little bit of steam coming off of it. So the first thing you want to do is, make sure you guys can see it in the camera, you want to go ahead and you want to pour your coke on it. Then, I like to take some of the pineapple juice to make like a glaze or more like a slurry with the pineapple juice. And then I pour a little bit of Coke in there with the brown sugar and I kind of just mix it up. And I make a glaze out of these two products. Sorry if you guys hit a helicopter in the background, y'all. Oh no, I'm on a military base. <laughs> and this is what your glaze is gonna look like. And this is basically like a brown sugar pineapple ham. So now that I've got that all mixed up together, I like to take a little bit of num egg and sprinkle it on the outside of the ham a little bit on my hand just tap it on there and this really does make the ham give it a really good flavor then i'll just take a little bit of ginger which i forgot to add on there the first time and then i just grab me a spoon and i'm going to put that brown skin on there with the pineapple juice and you see the glaze it just makes a beautiful glaze mm, 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 mm. you can smell all those spices and this ham is going to be delicious y'all now I know it ain't Thanksgiving yet but I ain't gonna be at the house, so I got to make these videos come through for y'all. Cause last year I kind of I didn't get it done. Everything was broken out of whack. 
So definitely this year we are going to make sure we have Thanksgiving and Christmas videos that go up on time, babies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing my pineapples on here. Some of them I won't have to use a toothpick for. Some of them I will. And we just going to lay them on there. Like that one right there, I'm going to need a toothpick. So we're going to stick that one on there. I should have had some little clothes to put on the end, but that's okay. It'll work. And this is just something we did growing up. We always put pineapples on the ham, you know? Everybody has their way of cooking their holiday dishes, and this is just how we made it in my family. Mm. And believe it or not, y'all, that pineapple does impact the flavor of the ham. It really does. I'm just not putting them on here for decoration. It does like help with the taste. And it makes it look kind of pretty too, you know? I'm going to put one on that right layer. And we're going to put one right here. And this is a small ham because I don't need the whole pig in my house. Y'all know, like, I'll eat the whole pig. I'm just saying, I love ham. Make me a ham sandwich every day of the week if I could, but I'm not because I don't want high blood pressure. You know, that's a killer. All right, y'all. So our ham is all decorated with the pineapples. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop it into the oven for about 35 minutes, 35 to 45 minutes. And just let it finish, you know, coming all together. And then we'll have our ham. I'm going to pour a little bit of that glaze back up on top of it. Just scoop it up with your spoon. I probably should have got a bigger spoon. But we're going to make this work. Get a little of that on the pineapples. Y'all, this ham is going to be so good. I got some potato salad on the side and some cabbage. And when this gets done, I am going to come back and show you guys how to slice it and dice it. And what it looks like fresh out of the oven. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys back here in a minute. I'm going to put a little bit of foil on here for about 15 minutes. And I'm going to take the foil off. And then we're going to be ready to go. We're going to be copacetic. Okay? See you guys back here in a second. Bye. All right, love. So we are back and we are absolutely done with the ham. So on my side dish, I have some cabbage and some homemade potato salad. If you guys want to see a video on how to do homemade potato salad, leave me a comment down below. But if y'all don't leave no comment, then she don't know to make homemade potato salad for a video. So if you guys want to see some more sides for Thanksgiving, then definitely leave me a comment down below. So our ham is done. I'm going to let y'all get a good view on the side ham. She looks delicious. One more time so you guys can see. And now I'm going to pop one of these little pineapples off. What side? We're going to see what side we're going to slice into it first. I think I'm going to get the front side. Uh -huh. We're going to remove these toothpicks. And then we are going to slice into her. Is that a bone? I think that's a bone. Well, we won't be slicing right there, y'all. Let's move over. To the back side got a little baby fat on that side she a little chunky you know take the toothpicks out I already got a nice thumbnail so we're gonna enjoy this brown sugar pineapple ham and we're just gonna cut into it and she sliced like butter then we're gonna dip it into a little bit of that juice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cut a couple pieces off. This ham is delicious. It smells so good. And I'm like a good ham. 
for the holidays. Oops. Mm. This is what ham should be. Just mouth water and delicious. All right, so we sliced our ham. We have our plate. We have potato salad. We got some cabbage and some ham. Now, y'all, we're going to get into this ham and see what she is tasting like. Hey, a little bit of potato salad because I got to have potato salad with my ham or my ham feel naked, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice little piece of ham. It's tender. Mmm. Let's go back in for that ham. And I like that little fatty piece. Because that's always the best part. Mmm. 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 Mm. Get a little cabbage. So, this is my version of a Thanksgiving Christmas ham. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to have another bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, please share the videos. As you guys know, we broke 100,000 about two weeks ago. So, I'm, not 100,000, Lord. We broke, we broke a thousand here on YouTube. Not a hundred thousand, but we gonna get to a hundred thousand. But we broke a thousand here on YouTube, and I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support here on the channel. I have really been enjoying myself getting these videos out, and I'm just so happy that you guys have decided to come here and hang out with the lovely she. So, with that being said, remember to put God first. Family, friends, treat people the way you want to be treated. You never know what people are going through in their everyday life. So take that into account when you're interacting with people. And you just have to remember that sometimes people are going through things. And they're like, you know, they're like garbage trucks. And sometimes when they meet you, they see you happy, they just jump all their trash on you. And you just got to learn how to handle it in the best way possible. Don't let their, their actions make you react in a way that will take you out of your character. With that being said, I love y'all. Remember, food is love. And I'll see you guys back here in a couple of days. Smooshes.